Hi, I'm Cheryl Totten with Boys and Girls Club of Greater Baton Rouge. This is day two video of a five-day program, Be Safe, Be Smart with Get Real About Violence for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Our day one video, we talked about violence and what violence is. I used a definition that violence is something mean done on purpose to hurt someone. I also talked about a rude act. Rude act is something unintentionally done and it's done one time. A mean act is an intentional mean act in order to hurt someone and it's done one time. But bullying is different. Bullying is when that mean thing is done over and over again and it causes hurt to either the same person or causes hurt to a variety of different people done by the same person. There's three types of bullying that I want to talk to you about today. One is physical. That's when somebody is hit, kicked, slapped, punched, hurt in any way physically. Their body is hurt. The second is verbal bullying or verbal meanness. And that is when words are used to hurt somebody's feelings. They're either called mean names, they're teased and made fun of, they're left out. Rumors or gossip is talked about and that person is hurt. The third one I want to talk to you about today is cyberbullying. And cyberbullying is very common. If you are watching this video, you're probably online watching this video. So therefore, you're in what we call the cyber world. Well, cyberbullying is a mean act, or cyberbullying rather, is a mean act done over and over again to hurt somebody in the cyber world. And that can be done by either posting mean or rude remarks about somebody online, uploading pictures or videos of mean acts done or videoed of others doing mean things to people. It's a variety of things and you need to be protected. You need to protect yourself. If you wouldn't be mean to somebody in person, don't do it online. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, resisting messages since we're talking about the cyber world and we're talking about putting um, posts and messages out there about people. What is a message? A message can be an idea and we get messages or an idea or influence from different var various different places. Okay, some of those places, first of all, we get them from other people. If you have a family member that um, has taught you manners or has taught you that being kind to others is, is a good thing, then that's a good message. And that person loves you and cares enough about you that they give you that message and that they let you learn that idea from them or they are that influence upon you. Well, there's a lot of other messages out there that we get from people, such as we've talked about bullying. Um, we get the idea that it's okay sometimes to be mean, and that message isn't true. So other people that do mean things give us messages or ideas, or they may influence our thoughts or our feelings about mean acts. Another place I wanna to talk to you about where we might get messages or influences from, and that's TV shows or movies or videos that you might watch online. You know, I love the entertainment world. Um, I love music also is another place that we might get ideas or influence by words used in music and TV shows and so forth like that. There's a lot of it out there. And so I expose myself or I watch those things or I listen to those things, but do I have to let them change how I feel or, or how I treat others because of the message that I get from those TV shows or movies or uh, music even? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't have to change your ideas and, and change how you treat other people based on those messages or ideas. Also, a big one, I know, a big one is video games. And yes, I realize that you can um, correspond or talk with, communicate with people that you play video games with online, either through 
uh, verbal communication with headsets or it's with a chatting of texting or, or typing these messages. And so um, there's ways that you can communicate through those and sometimes those messages that you receive or even may be some that you send out there, they can be mean messages. So I want to bring those things to your attention so that you can be aware of all the influences that are out there. When we're talking about cyberbullying, we also need to talk about protecting ourselves while we're online and being smart and being safe. Um, let's back up a minute though and talk about these influences. Sometimes there are TV shows out there that that show a lot of violence. There's some movies out there that show a lot of um, kind things or, or healthy messages for us. So there's good and bad out there. And we need to be able to determine the difference of those messages and apply them to us or realize, oh, I don't really need to pay that much of attention to that or I don't really need to give in to that way of thinking. Well, it's the same as if you're communicating with somebody online. You may see some of your friends or you may see some of the players that you're playing these games with and so forth. And they may be giving messages to you about another player and stuff like that. Oh, beware. Beware. There's so many messages out there and we don't have to listen to them. So I want to teach you a, a part of a poem right now. Um, and it's simple. It's just two questions. What's the message? Is it true? So you need to think for yourself when you are exposing yourself to all of these influences or ideas or messages that are out there. Because we don't have to listen to them. They're out there and sometimes we can't do anything about it. I also want to talk to you about protecting yourself while you're online. I hope that you have gotten the message from somebody, uh, your parents, your grandparents, your big brothers or sisters, or your cousins, your aunts and your uncles, your teachers, your school officials, and, and anywhere, even there's good messages online about how to protect yourself. I want to talk to you about predators, online predators, and how they can be really sneaky they are very patient. Um, let's talk about video games. Let's isolate that area of cyber world for you. If you've been playing a video game and you're used to the same players popping up and, and showing up that you play with and stuff like that, you know, you might be aware and you might feel comfortable of this player. You might be familiar with how this person plays and maybe even some of the messages that they might send verbally or through chat, text, and so forth. So what do you do when you played with the same person for say months or so, you know, and they say, hey, we've been playing together for a long time. How about we become friends? What's your name? What's your real name? Would you tell them? Is it safe to do that? What would you do? Well, first of all, would you respond? Would you give them a fake name? Hmm, chances are they're not using their real name or, or they wouldn't give you their real name if you asked for it back. Because predators are sneaky. Predators are patient. They will wait for a prime opportunity where they feel like you might be comfortable to share personal information with them. Well, this is what I want you to do to keep yourself safe. I want you to screenshot or take a picture or somehow save that messaging if you can. Get off of the game with that friend or that player, not that friend, that player. Shut it down and report that problem to the, to the game site, to the, to the website where that game is provided for you. And I also want you to tell your parents or an adult that you trust, someone that you need to report this to. Because boys and girls, they'll wait for you. They'll wait for the opportune time. I don't mean to scare you. I just want to be real with you about it. And if anything were to ever happen to you, where's the trace of that? 
probably in that messaging. Another thing I want to point out to you is that if you have a password to your computer, your gaming device, your phone, where you can receive and send messages of any kind to anybody, I want you to provide those passwords to your parents or your guardian. You are their business. They need to know that information. Not to go find in your business. There needs to be trust there. But if something were to ever happen to you through these messages or through an online predator, that would be their first way of finding out where you are and who you were communicating with. And believe me, the technology today is so advanced that yes, it can be found out. So there's a couple of things that you need to remember from all of this that we've talked about today. First of all, violence is mean and it can hurt people. You shouldn't do mean things online if you wouldn't do them in real life. You can be found out. First of all, protect yourself. I mean, second of all, protect yourself while you're online and don't be a prey for anybody because there are online predators. Never ever give out your personal information. Never ever tell them your name. There's a username for a reason. So protect yourself. And if something ever does happen, always tell an adult. Always tell an adult that you trust and that can help you and to keep you safe. That's what we want. We want you to stay safe. And a lot of you in third, fourth, and fifth grade, you're smart enough to know how to do that. So when we are talking about being safe and being smart online, just a few things that I want you to be aware of. And I'm, I'm looking for my sheet. And first of all, log off the site. I want to remind you, log off the site where the bullying is happening or the predator is talking to you and trying to get information from you. Block any of those messages. If somebody is bullying you online, block those messages. Block that person. Say those messages though, okay? And don't respond to them. That's a big one. Don't even respond to somebody who's trying to get information from you. Don't even respond to those bullying messages and emails and text and, and so forth. Save the message and then tell someone that you trust. I can't remind you of that enough. Um, also, we're going to talk a little bit about how vulnerable or how easy are you as a, um, as a prey? How, how easy are you for somebody to be mean to, to bully, to... Um, insult online or somebody to seek you out online um, to do those mean things to you. How easy of a prey are you? Well, it's, you always protect your information. You always protect your location. And you never, ever give out your phone number. Okay? Never. Just keep yourself safe. I have come up with this cute little idea, which I did find it online, um, and it is camouflage, or um, how easy are you to spot sort of um, little activity that you can do. I took five toothpicks right here. I took five toothpicks, and I colored them with markers, uh, five different colors. And what I'm going to do, and you can color more than five if you want to. It's, it's totally up to you. It depends on how many people you want to play with or if you want to just do it by yourself. I just did five. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these toothpicks and you're going to go outside and find you a little patch of grass, maybe two foot by two foot space. And then you're going to drop all these toothpicks around in that space. And I want you to see which ones are easy to find and which ones are harder to find. And the idea is to figure out how easy are you for people to pick on or how easy are you to be somebody that a predator could easily prey upon online. Or which ones are the hard ones? Are the ones that um, are green 
that they don't show up in the grass? Do you have yourself well covered online and protected so that you're not spotted real easy? What about in public when people are wanting to treat you mean? Do you put yourself out there if you know you've been hurt by somebody? Do you put yourself around them? Or do you protect yourself and keep yourself away from them? Well, I'm going to talk to you some more about um, how to keep yourself safe from bullies and mean acts and stuff like that on one of our other videos. I'd like for you to do this activity. Make your toothpicks. Go outside and play the game. Do it by yourself or do it with somebody. I also have three books that I'd like to introduce you to. One is Weird. It's a set of three books. They're great books. It tells you three perspectives of people who are either bullied with a bystander or the bully. So Weird is the first one. Dare is the second one. And Tough is the third one. I strongly encourage you to check these books out. They all have a great message. They all have a message on how you can solve the problem. So I'm going to leave you with this poem. It's, what's the message? Is it true? Is it good for me and you? And if you see mean messages out there in TV shows, video games, music, you hear those, or you see other people, ask yourself, what's that message or idea that I'm getting from that person? Is it true? Well, if you're not sure, is it good for me? Is it good for you if I copy that mean message? Boys and girls, I'll be back with day three, and we're going to talk about stress. Um, so I hope you join me back. Have a great day. Bye.